So welcome to Vegas Circle with Pocky and Chris. And uh, today in the circle, we actually have Leticia and Angel uh, from Live to Give. So Hi welcome, guys. guys. I appreciate you guys being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. No, thank you, guys. The pleasure is ours. Thank you so much, both of you guys, for having us on your show. Awesome, man. So we want to just, just jump right into it. And um, if you guys can just kind of give us your background on Live to Give and you know what you guys are all about. Sure. Mm -hmm. You, me? Okay, yeah. cool. So Live to Give was started um, three years ago, back in 2015, with the idea to connect brands to causes. Um, Angel had his own nonprofit that he started, and uh, I have a background in radio and TV, and so I always wanted to do more. I felt like when you're radio and TV, right, with all these you know, different outlets yeah. to reaching a community, you definitely should utilize it to, you know, give the community something to give back to and make impact with. And so we took those ideas and just create it, live to give, to be able to do that now with nonprofits and for profits to bridge that gap and be able to help them leverage and work together in the community. They both have, you know, similar or, you know, things they want to get out into the community mm -hmm. and so they can work together to do that. And so we do that um, through our public relations and event services that we offer. So the people that you work with, you specifically pick them um, for causes that they're kind of representing in Las Vegas, or is it uh, dynamic? Anybody can could be in for cause marketing. Yeah, so it's pr it's it's open. So we have nonprofits that are clients of ours that we help in those arenas, and mm -hmm. then connect them to a brand um, that might be you know also looking to connect with their type of cause or just looking for another way or outlet to give back. Then we have for profits that are our clients, and anytime we get a for profit as a client, you know they're looking to promote their brand, whatever mm -hmm. that is, right? So Veggie Street, right? We've talked about yeah, them. Yeah, so that's where we met. Yeah, yes, yep, yes, yep. exactly. Um, so we, you know, obviously he's looking to promote his restaurant and his food and everything like that, but we always encourage cool that's awesome how can we also connect you with a nonprofit here in town that you can give a percentage back to maybe highlight one of your meals that can go back to them do something that is going to promote his brand and get people in the door but also showing that he's connected to the community in other ways oh, that's a great concept and yeah. the veggie awesome. street if i may add the, with the veggie street specifically we one of our one of our other clients is the the burn foundation of southern nevada so we actually connected with them during mm -hmm. that December campaign where the yes. firefighters were collecting toys for their children across the community. Awesome. Uh, they collected over 28,000 toys for the community through their drives, and uh, Veggie Street was a part of that as a community partner, and so it was really a win-win for both of them. Yeah, do you mainly focus on the marketing aspect, or do you handle the actual So our services include the public relations, event services, and strategic partnerships. Got Within it. that, though, we'll do like content messaging productions, like creating the cur – or creating um, – Video concepts, so whatever it is to get the message across, whatever those messages are. Sure. Um, and that includes the storyboard, the narration, we film it, we edit it, et cetera, voiceover, whatever it is. That's awesome. Yeah, I've seen a lot of your good work in both. <laughs> Chris have looked at, both looked oh, at your yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. You guys and, are fantastic. I saw the commercial that you, you guys you. did for Veggie Street, so it was it's awesome. It's a team effort for sure. So yes. <laughs> thank you to yes. the team. Good stuff, man. Absolutely. So where, where did you guys grow up at? You guys Are you guys from Las Vegas, or where, where are you guys actually from? I'm originally from California. I was okay. born in California, but I mean, Vegas is home. I've been in Vegas now since I was. Um, I mean, I came here as a third grader, so okay. this is my home. Um, yeah. Oh, third grade, long yeah. time? Yeah. So uh, I'm born and raised. Oh, nice. In awesome. Vegas. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I know I'm a rare breed. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Here for, I sure. Am. yeah for sure. Yeah, <laughs> you're part of the reason why we're all here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. No, <laughs> yeah, born and raised in Vegas. That's good. Awesome, man. So, what motivates you guys, man? Like, what got you guys into um, Live to Give and? Ooh, great sure. Question. For me, I mean, so my background was in nonprofits, but I've always been, I've always been very much community driven. I remember at the lowest point where I was like, you know, what do I want to, you know, I feel like everyone has those times, like, what do I want to do with my life? What is it going to be? And what is it going to do? And I remember in 2012, I came up with like, I was in those moments and I realized that, you know, I had to come down and like, not, come, I had to write out like what that meant for me. And at that point, in 2012, I wrote, I want to be an international figure in community and culture development. I want to create business businesses, programs that impact and change the identity of the people I serve. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, and that's so <laughs> through that time, you know, fast forward a few years later, I was still involved with, with Jump for Joy, but I knew yes. during Jump for Joy I wanted to do more, right? I loved what we were doing. Mm -hmm. I loved how we were serving. I love all the things I was learning, but I wanted to do more for other causes, other communities, other, you know, the Big vision. impact, is, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. And so... It just so happened when Latisse and I met, we were very much kindred in that same mindset, right? Different stories, but same like identity as far as that goes. And so 
literally out, we were like well we can do events and, and don't get it twisted like live to give has, has had like pivots within the within the tra- trajectory of the business right mm-hmm. it started one thing yes. and it turned into something else but the common mission and vision of it has always stayed the same as far as connecting community to brands doing the cause marketing aspect because that's where our heart is within like you know someone mentioned like uh, one of our clients mentioned our what is it we have our thumb on the community and we feel very pride we have to take pride in that because we know we worked very hard to to deliver Mm-hmm. But also coming from a place of service, and so that's, that's what awesome, really man. that's what really drives for me myself and for both of us. I can say that confidently. And that's what makes you interested in connecting your brands to the community? Like, what specifically is that? Because you're from California, you it kind of makes sense being from Las Vegas and focusing on on your area. But I guess you have been here since third grade, so it's a little bit of a while. But what what's the driven to connect with the community? What the drive for that? Uh, you're saying just like the brands or, or yeah just so like you're kind of focused on cause marketing and having those um you know connecting the brands to the community like what's the, the focus on that like say as an example it is veggie street mm-hmm. what makes you so focused on tra- uh, connecting them to las vegas is it because i mean at the, at, the, at the end of the day we want to work people that want to do the same right we want to align with ourselves with people sure. that want to do the same and so all we're doing is kind of curating the mission around them Got it. And so if they have a vision of connecting the brand or, or being community driven, mm-hmm. we have the resources, we have the ability, we have the skills, we have the connections and the innovation is around ourselves with, with those type of people and deliver on what we want. So like to answer your question specifically, I mean it comes from it comes from knowing that it's bigger than us, right? Mm-hmm. Knowing that the vision is bigger than us. Yeah. It's not about us, it's about who we can serve. Love it. Love yeah. it. Yeah, that's that's really cool. I noticed that when I walked in and saw you guys, man, you guys got great energy, man. Positive energy. Oh, thank energy. you, man. Yeah. Oh, so thank you. You can appreciate see that. that. You can see that for sure. Yeah, so. that was a fun day. Yep. That's awesome, man. So w- tell us about some of the unique people that you guys have worked with, um, you know, with, with Live to Give. Um, Man. Everyone is amazing. You know, um, I think when you put out the energy of what you're looking to do, those people just come back to you. So sure. yep. it can be in the form of the type of nonprofit that needs your services at that time. It could be in the form of the for profit, you know, or it just anyone, mm-hmm. you know, even the people that refer us they're, they that we've made a connection with They're like, hey, we know someone, you know, that may need you guys or we'll get a text of like, I'm connecting everyone. I want you guys to meet. So just um, I think everyone just has their a uniqueness about them that we really enjoy yeah. working with and we know right away um you know if we want to work with them or not and most of the time we do we just are so fortunate that yeah. we we gravitate wonderful people whatever mm. whatever part of the spectrum they're on to be able to help them um so that's what that's really cool so no one just really stands out they all are, are amazing but you know burn foundation is one of our current clients that we're having fun with yeah um he mentioned the toy drive back yeah. in yep. um december mm-hmm. and uh, for all the ladies out there they're doing a firefighter bachelor <laughs> auction in june <laughs> that i'm super excited for and um, yes if we haven't gotten to this part yet Angel is my partner in business and in life there we go yeah. um, but I am very excited about this event <laughs> <laughs> just for the cause yeah. you yeah. gotta yeah. give back that sounded good um, that sounded good no yeah. but it, the yeah. cause really is them helping you know burn survivors they, sure. they, they send kids to camp and they help adults and kids that have you know have survived have survived that and their families and so um, but being a part of things like that like it's fun you know yeah. and so how cool is that to say you know, I mean, it attracts, and the whole point is fundraising. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they, this event is going to do a great job at doing that, and we get to have fun while That's we're good. raising, you know, money for an amazing cause. And so, that's fun. Yeah, That's really yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. And I want to add to that, like, if, if I may. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> no, like, <I'm> kidding. <laughs> it's been really humbling just to see how the community steps up. Like, the community has been very. They rally together. Like, we can from the city to the city of Las Vegas, North Las Vegas to. Henderson. I mean, we worked with we've worked with them specifically and directly, like all over, just the That's actual awesome. cities or that those actual circles. But not only on top of that, like the the businesses and the for profits, and I mean, from restaurants to you know, it, it's it's now more than ever. It's, it's us. You know, I was gonna say statistics show, yep. but aside from statistics, like the heart shows, like people are in it to win it mm. with the community, and I think that's. Very huge. They could feel that energy. Yeah. Oh that's, yeah, that that's, energy that's what it is, is huge, yeah. man. And yeah. I feel like that we've been humbled to 
just I mean like like Leticia mentioned like they they come to they come to us and that's exciting. Yeah, you have kind of seen a culture shift in Las Vegas where it's becoming mm-hmm. more of a community and people Absolutely. are getting more involved in things like that. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. And that's been huge for us I think. You've seen it specifically with October 1 and all of these sure. type of things. It's been really great to see. Mm-hmm. I agree. So Scooby, you guys work with a wide range of clients and partners and things and I was reading you guys have worked with um it's create for change it's like preventing childhood obesity. Yep. Mm-hmm. You guys have worked with um the Center of Serving the LBGT, I can yeah. always say it wrong. No, the you're LBGT fine. You're uh, fine. community yep. of Nevada. What, what makes you guys choose, you know, specific clients? I know we kind of touched on it a little bit before, but do these do these causes reach out to you guys, and then you guys are just like, hey, let's let's make this happen. You know what I mean? Like, good I know question. Kinda, um, it just depends. You know, um, most of the time it's just connections in the community, the referrals, and mm-hmm. things like that. You know, sure. people we've already started when we started working together with them three years ago almost four years ago yep. and then them just learning like where we are and what we're providing again it's that connection sure. so a lot of it is is referrals and um just you know when we first started right when we honestly first started you where do you begin yeah, so yeah, you have to part. tap and be like sure. hey so i started this business like you you want to like learn more you know remember <laughs> um alicia mm-hmm. with shade tree and just like oh, yeah. how these things just kind of, you know, you, you have to start from somewhere. And so you start with, you know, who you know, because, mm-hmm. you know, that's how <laughs> it, it gets just, done. Yeah, yeah. right. Yep, I mean, yep. it just makes it a little bit faster to kind of get the momentum going. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, we we sit down and have, you know, coffee or some kind of fun discovery visit with with everyone that's either reached out to us or even if we've reached out to them, because, you know, there's times where we're like, oh, my gosh, they're doing awesome things. Yeah. How can we help or how can we lend our services to them or, or things like that? So it just really depends. And we sit down with them and kind of just see, you know, where they're at and what they're where they're trying to go. And mm-hmm. if it makes sense for us to be able to come in and help with that through our services. Sure. Do you guys work with only um, businesses and services in, in Nevada? Or do you guys work, you know, across the country or mm-hmm. whoever will reach yeah, out? Yeah, no, to? the vision's international. I mean, right now oh, okay, we've awesome. we've, yeah. we've done uh, we've done things in Las Vegas, obviously, and across the we've done things. We had a client in Atlanta for one of their events there, or for one of their nonprofits. This was actually like when we first started. There you go. Uh, okay. I, I apologize. I can't remember the nonprofit. Now. A kite? No. What Anyways, I don't let me edit this out. Let me get some. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Atlanta, we're, we're currently work, Atlanta. we're currently in talks with an organization, a uh, wig manufacturer in New York, to do some cause marketing. That's awesome. Um, I mean, yeah, like I mentioned, I mean, you know, the, when again, like the vision is international, and sure. so with that mindset, you know, we're preparing ourselves for that same for that same. Um, uh, scale, sure, right. Yeah. So, like, we're putting the right people in place. We're putting we're putting our skill level in place, and just building the systems out so we can make sure that when that time comes, but we're ready for ready. it. And we yeah. know it's just a matter of time. It's yeah. just a matter of us putting our hard work out there, leading with that example. And at that point, it, I mean, like you guys know, right? Everything yeah. starts one step at a time. Yeah. How have sure. you seen the growth? Have you seen like a big snowball effect happening where you're getting? People- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, thank you, Lord. Yes. Yeah. That's great. For sure. Yeah. It's been, you know, but like anything, it takes time. Like this was not, this was not an overnight success yeah. story. This yeah. was very much many days of like, is this working? Is it not working? Many days of, you know, like honestly, like talking to each other and like crying at times and like of breaking course. down and like, like there's, there's no shame in that, right? At the end of the day, like I'm, I'm sharing this example so I give other people permission to do the same. Like mm-hmm. there's no shame in that. At the end of the day, like there was never a, I quit. There was always just, this is hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is hard. Um, but through those times, I promise you, once we got over it, it was very much like we're in the right place. Like this is like, we always got the aha. Like, it's like lesson you built for end. this. Yeah, yeah you built exactly. For this. It was, yep. it was yep. almost another like, uh, a, a different gear change for us to be at a different level. Yeah. And with that, like your your emotional strength gets tighter. Everything gets stronger when that those type of moments happen. And even of like uh, we become stronger, right? And of so yeah. it's very much been like not an overnight success, but we're very grateful for where we are today. And That's what has awesome, like man. been your biggest obstacles when creating the business that you've overcame in the past three years? The the biggest challenges that you've seen. Ooh, good question. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest obstacle. I mean, I have some. Okay, go for it. <laughs> so, and when we first started, I was still working. So, Lethisa has been full time uh, with the business for about three years. I want to say that's so. Two years. Two years. Yeah, that's the great. First year. So, two it. years. Excuse me. And then I've been full time now for about a year and a half, going on close to a year and a half. That gives you a better, better perspective. Huh? Would you full time in it? It's yeah. Just, yeah. Well, the thing yeah. is, is like during those times were hard because we were both working jobs. We were yeah. trying to build it. Yeah. We were, and at one point, like I was working the job, and then making like. 
uh, and then like trying to communicate. It was just tough, and we didn't have systems in place. We didn't have things yeah, that right. any like you know you go to work and you know like okay this is what anyone that goes to you go to work and you realize okay this is what I have to do here this is what I have to do here then I pass it to the next person to get it done like there's a system and a process to get everything done we didn't have that yeah and so it's very much like shooting things at, at sounds like being a Chris yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you learned that pretty quick though. yeah it sounds like being it's a Chris. game changer though once, yeah. we, once, once I became full time and once we got like our feet wet. We, it was tons of pivoting. The first six months, we did one model, business model. We had to change it to a different business model and to where that second business model stuck. Mm-hmm. And so, and then once we got it to stick, that's when we built the systems and, and processes mm-hmm. around that. It was and probably the third. <laughs> potentially, yeah. It could have that's been a good. few. I feel like it was the third. That was the biggest thing is just find, not, not really finding the time, but just being like stretched so thin mm-hmm. to the point of like, oh my gosh, like the can. Again, it was never like a quit, but it was more like how are we going? How how are we going to keep this moving? How are we going to keep this moving? Yeah, and uh, the communication was key. Yeah, the communication, you know, just as well, us communicating sure. and and talking it through, and you know things like that was was huge helping with that obstacle. But I, definitely the systems, like mm-hmm. that was a that was huge the game one. Yeah. Is that you that go to your our, job yeah. and that was created for you, and you 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 knew where to go, mm-hmm. and you had to build that system, and then you're wearing different hats in that system. Yeah, it's not like okay, it. here's yeah, the system, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm going to give it to this person. There's no other person it's this these two and even in that process right <laughs> like like even in that process now it's it's different to where like we were saved we wanted like okay like it was very much when we were building it out we didn't want to have any other additional expenses right yeah so we're like how are we going to do this so we can, yeah, we can, yeah, so, we can yep. so we can make sure we don't um so when we get let's say like a crm or a project manager all mm-hmm. these things mm-hmm. how are we going to do that like how is it going to be in the budget and so I just built it. <laughs> mm. I saved the money by just building it all out, right? And then we worked together and made sure, like, all right, let's test this system out and make sure it's working f- thoroughly. Yeah. And that now, like, we're still working with that system. And it's still being 100% f- uh, ran, but it saved us money. Yeah. So, yeah. like, by those, time, by those times of, like, being resourceful, yep. we were very much, like, being very smart because we realized, like, that's an expense we don't need anymore. Like, we can cut it. Pay attention to the overhead. And we just had a call early today where, like, the person was like, I'm going to send you access to my project manager. And I was like, just curious, how much does it cost? It literally looks no different from the one I built. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, they're paying quite a bit more money than what... Than what again? That's and this is just a lesson. Idea. Like this is just a lesson. Like be resourceful it, it, when yeah. you're in the process of, of of building your project or building your business. Like be resourceful. If there's no, it's not a matter of 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 how much is it going to cost. It's just a matter of how you're going to figure it out to get it done. And when it's there, like you will get it done. You know something that you pointed out in the beginning was you you were saying when you had your other nonprofit that you were writing stuff down, like almost like a vision of oh, what yes. you want to mm-hmm. accomplish. Did you guys do that with Live to Give? Is hey, this is what we're trying to do. Kind of like yeah. oh, putting yeah. a vision uh-huh. and dream on paper. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, very much. That's yeah, how it know. first started. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, we yeah. wrote out like our mission, our vision, there our core go. values. We built, a biz- we built two business plans in like a week. To to because uh, in the transition, so during Jump for Joy, I was very much like part time in that. We it was not like we were racking in money there, sure, right? It was sure. myself and three friends that were college, uh, my college friends from at the time that we built that foundation out. Okay, and so I was working jobs at that point. Like I was not, I didn't make enough money through Jump for Joy to yeah, to do. to pay bills, right? It was more, but that's that's the biggest thing as well. Like through that time, I made the less amount, of, least amount of money. But you learned. But I was, but I was the most in love with what I was doing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I was working at different jobs that I didn't like. I was doing. I remember I had a conversation. I don't mean touch, to take too much time, but I remember I had a. I had a. I used to work for an insurance company in town, and um, my boss pulled me in one day. He's like, "Hey, listen, man. He, I was hitting my numbers. Everything was solid. Like everything was good." And he was like, "You're not working hard enough." Oh, wow. He said something to the point of like, <laughs> he said something to the point of of of. Um, of basically, like, I know you can do better. That's all he was saying. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, like, he was coming from a place of love. I know you can do better. Yep. But my mindset was, believe me, I'm doing better. Like, I am kicking butt of what I'm doing because I was working on this project, working on uh, Jump for Joy. Yep. And I, I just knew the vision was bigger, right? And it was around that time that I was coming up with these, like, mantras of, like, what am I saying to myself? What am I doing yeah, here? Go. Like, yep. And through that process of, like, uh, of, of figuring it out, I mean, to your point, like, Jump for Joy was, like, everything, because mm-hmm. it, 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 I made the least amount of money, but I was the most passionate. Enjoying I never it. missed a meeting. I never missed like I learned so much during that time That's to cool. the point where it's it's gonna it's changed our lives and it's gonna continuously change our lives. And at what point did you realize you could do this full time? So when you start off, when you have the vision and you're kind of chipping away at it, was there like a a, a moment where you're just like, this is it? You know, we're we're gonna do this and it's gonna be successful. 
Yeah. Um, gosh, that's hard to explain. Now. I know. Because everybody I, has it. Like, and now, I feel like, you know, it. You just know it. You feel mm-hmm. it, and it's kind of like a moment. You know, you know it happened oh. kind of, I don't oh, know what ahead. you were going to no, say. Go okay, it's different. Of, I wonder this if it's the same question. thing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it kind of happened for me. So I like transitioned. So I was working three jobs. So running the business, a full-time job, and then I, I started a part-time job. Yeah. Because I knew the part-time job was going to be the only other job besides live to give because I was transitioning out of the other mm-hmm. full time gotcha. job because you know I needed I wanted to make sure there was something coming in mm-hmm. as we're building and then he was working you were working at that mm-hmm. time as well full time um, and then I could just tell after a year that part time job was just fading away like it was easy it was in, in a, it's in a like taking in, too much time in an industry <laughs> I was okay yeah. with yeah. being in I was like you know okay I don't mind being here but. I knew it was going to fade out. Like, I wasn't in it. I was like, I don't care about this anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I just want to focus on um, Live to Give. And it kind of, it did. It just faded out. Like, they were like, hey, we're going in another direction. I'm like, great, because I'm <laughs> also going in. Yeah, and it just worked out. And, like, I have... It's like all the stars. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, like okay. Me, and I'm that was you. that moment where I'm like, okay, this is it. Yeah. That is the last yeah. job I'm going to yeah. have. That's the last time someone's going to tell me what to do, pay you me. Go. You know things like that, and so it just so happened. Great and these are great people. Like yeah. I still mm, am in contact that's with them. That's yeah. what They've even yeah. reached out and be like, "Hey, we need your service," and I'm like, <laughs> "Okay." And so you know, they're great people. It just it and it was just the universe. It yeah. wasn't like I wasn't doing good, or they they just were going in another direction. And I, you know, I could already they were making changes. And you know, when change happens, yeah. like you're like you're changing the system again. I got to relearn. <laughs> yeah. I didn't care. I had I was working on my system. I'm yeah, like, exactly. what do I do for mine? You know. So it just worked that's out, cool. and that was the moment for me at least where i was like okay well this is it like yeah that's i'm gonna be at the house because we work remotely like working every day this is awesome and yeah i've yet to go down another path for me i would say it was probably about a year ago when oh yeah probably about a little, little less than a year but um you know it's always one of those things like we knew there's never doubts it's going to work. It's just a matter of when. Yeah. So, but I mean, I remember a year ago for sure, we got a call to be a part of an event with the county, and that was a game changer for us. I mean, that month we made, or that day we made more than we, I think we made the year before. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but it was a blessing. I mean, we have these relationships that we've had with the, with the county, with the city, and then when, you know, we produce events. So that's originally how we met. We produced a, 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 an event here with the, the county okay. at the government center. And so... That's not when we met, but that's how we originally started working together. Excuse me. That's cool. Yeah. And so we still have those relationships. And so when they call, it's like that was exciting because we realized, like, okay, our, our services are needed. And it was one of those things where it was a partnership with the county. So it worked out. And we realized, like, again, we made it was a, it was a great, it was a great, it was a blessing. Because at that point, I was just about to, I was basically done with the job. And so it was like one of those things, like, okay, like, this is good. This is at least a cushion enough for us to like figure out what the phase, what the next phase is. There you go. Yeah. So you have the stability to be able to focus. Mm-hmm. So that mm-hmm. that's huge. One hundred percent. It is. Yeah. It is. That's awesome. Middle Thank battles. you. County. It's probably the middle battles too huh? that you're trying to feel, deal with to make sure that you can make it happen. Oh sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I mean, every. I mean, you know, at, at the end of the day, like the biggest battle we fight is between the two years, yeah. and so every day it's a constant. Every day, every hour, it's a constant. Just refocus of that mindset right refocus of, of a bad thought comes in you take it out yep. a bad pattern or habit starts coming in you start taking it out and it's just kind of being aware and doing self-talk like i'm really big on self-talk like now we have morning routines together or just, excuse me we have individual morning routines that we implement within our just day to start it and just to start it because that habits i mean it's, and it's it's almost like well i could talk all day about that but yeah. <laughs> no i love that stuff yeah, we talk yeah, yeah. About that. You know, the first 20 minutes of the day is everything 100 uh, so, yep, yeah yep that's awesome man. Oh, i well, give mine myself are bad. two hours <laughs> yeah, i was gonna say <laughs> mine <laughs> two hours. you said you need two hours well i gave sure. myself two yeah. i made it to where i'm like yeah two two to three hours before i'm like on my phone checking an email or yeah. connecting anything that's it's cool. like all Get me the noise like, out in the morning yeah, yeah. i'm just like that's my first cool. 20 minutes of the walk to the bathroom in the shower you don't even wake up yeah we're gonna trip man so what's what's some of the biggest um i guess some of your best business strengths what separates you think from others other um let's say i don't want to say cause marketing or what, what would you coin you guys as you say cause marketing or it's competitive market right so it's kind of there's a lot of people doing it so what separates you guys mm-hmm. Ooh, good question again um i would honestly i mean us i mean i just yeah, think we go. come in very differently as far as our approach mm-hmm. um you know we don't we just want to see what what their needs are you know we're not looking to you know have them sign a check over to us and start you Mm -hmm. know like it's not about the money um 
we just want to know how we can help. Yeah. And even for me, like it was very hard to like even learn like how to ask for money. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, true. you know, because ask again, for your services, a job, yeah. you know, says like you're going to make this amount, yeah. and I don't have to ask. You know, I remember even having a hard time asking for raises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've been doing. You know what I mean? So yeah. now I have to ask people for like money, money. Yeah. Where I'm like, <laughs> I have more than just like a couple of cents I'm or dollars I'm asking for now. Sure, so yeah, sure. it was, but I still go in that same mindset of like, you know, we want to make sure this is going to be a win-win Yeah. because at the end mm-hmm. of the day, you know, people are spending their money. And so we want to make sure that we're doing not only what we're putting on paper or a proposal or whatever, but we're still going to go above and beyond what that piece of paper says. Um, if they need, and, you know, whatever it is, if they need us there to do another video or shoot it, you know, take more pictures of food or whatever it is, you know, or, you know, maybe look, up something or help them connect them with somebody they've been wanting to connect with and we happen to know that person like Mm -hmm. if that's all it is like fine you know here it is like Mm -hmm. you know what i mean and we build relationships with people they're not just a client you know what i mean they become our friends Mm -hmm. in a sense i mean there's a definitely a separation between business and friends but we you know we understand that we're all human and Mm -hmm. we're all like we're all have the same goal but how can we get there together there you go that's cool man that's really good what i know you're from las vegas i know you moved here probably obviously because your family and everything but what what drew you to build a business in Vegas versus move maybe to another state or something to build a live to give? Um, I mean, I think we talked about it. Just the yeah. fact that like the community is changing and mm-hmm. wanting to be more than just this entertainment capital of the world or being Sin City. Like yeah. there's families and people that live here and they want to do more than just be a part of like that bigger, yeah. you know, kind of you know name in the lights type of thing like sure. you know and i think it's it's really cool and then i'm i'm from vegas so just being able to give back to my community and and, and have a business come up mm-hmm. you know what i mean from someone that's lived here and you know have seen the city grow so much yeah, cause a lot of our struggles have always been kind of like hidden so they you don't want to it's hard to sell struggle in a city of entertainment so mm-hmm. you they yeah. kind of always like left on the side mm-hmm. so it's nice to see people trying to you know, bring that up and, and make it better. Uh, Absolutely. And, and, you know, people want to, people want to be heard. And so yeah. I think that's another really cool thing too, of, you know, giving people that opportunity to share their passion or their voice or, you know, whatever it is they have going on at that time. That's awesome. That's awesome. What do you guys do for fun, man? Being that you born and raised in Vegas, yeah, you guys sound busy. Yeah, (laughs) busy people, Um, man. What do you guys do for fun in Vegas? Eat, drink coffee, (laughs) and drink coffee. We like to go to coffee shops, hang out. Uh, That is my favorite thing. I like to. We're putting together a choreograph piece yeah i saw did you dance prior to this oh you oh you saw oh, okay oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I saw yeah you guys were putting together no no i didn't, no, I didn't see the video <laughs> nah, I, just, yeah, I did read that it's you dropping. were yes were dancing, angel, huh? angel yeah. is yeah, a dancer I, dance. okay. I, used, I still dance actually i take that back i still dance i okay. that's my passion um what kind so of dance i do hip-hop i do funk styles it's like freestyle dancing so i'm known for like uh pff, i'm known <laughs> there you I'm go. 19 right like that's what i used to say anyways uh it uh, all came back to you. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm known. Uh, no, so I dance uh, like funk style dancing. So mainly like popping. I okay. do locking. I do like breaking. I was like top rocking mostly. Um, just different areas within funk style dancing. We we'll have to set them up, man, because we had B Boy okay, Ronnie. We had B Boy Ronnie on here from, from Super Crew. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we'll have yeah, to have yeah, you guys battle, man, on our yes. anniversary. Have yeah, you guys get it in? Oh no, he's it's way a, better than me. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. He's a beast, but I know like the whole crew. Like I know. I mean, I grew up in the Dan- Vegas dance scene, so yeah. like, awesome, man. I know that. There's some good people. I know. Oh, they're Real sick, man. I mean, there's still jams that go on all the time that I go support. In fact, one of our, one of my friends. In fact, one of our friends that's that's I grew up with since I've known. Uh, since I was 16 years old, literally is is one of our clients. That's awesome. And it's nice. based around it's based around dance, like the program that we're, we're building out a nonprofit for them that's based around dance. That's cool. And so yeah. I feel like that's so cool how it came full circle like that. And even with Jump for Joy, I remember like, and I'll share this story really briefly, but yeah. I love sharing this story because I think it's very powerful. Like with Jump for Joy. The whole thing was uh, making it fun and cool for kids to be healthy, active, and fit. Mm-hmm. We were preventing childhood obesity. And so in that process, like I remember growing up, I was very much bullied and teased for, for being overweight, for not being like one of the guys, mm-hmm. for being like, you know, just a different, uh, you know, I wasn't, I'm not like a, like a man's man, right? So with that said, like I was always, I would always get teased for it. I was a little more like emotionally, emotionally uh, vulnerable at the time, right? I was raised sure. by a single family home here in Southern Nevada, raised by my sister, my grandma, my mom. And so with that said, like, you know, it was I was raised differently. But with that said, I grew up and I found dance a few years after that. And dancing changed my life. When I was a soft freshman in high school, I fell in love with dance. I lost a lot of weight. I built self confidence. I built a whole 
bunch of things through dance, and it was a positive impact. Fast forward a few years after that, my friend who uh, who who was a fitness professional here in Las Vegas, he's a Nike trainer now, awesome. good friend of mine, owns the, uh, was a co-owner of the gym downtown. He and I, he was like, hey, I have this project that I'm working on. It's called the Jump for Joy Foundation. I think it'd be perfect. And it was that aspect of me coming into that, and I had another another gentleman as well. The three of us coming together and me bringing my passion for dance. And what I always say, because I have these talks with kids, and the thing that makes me different, and the thing that made the thing that made me different, the thing that made me like out of like, is the thing that's going to make me the thing that made me unique. Because yeah. within that team, we built a program called Dance Against Obesity. Mm. Within that team, we took over nightclubs of Marquee, Tao, uh, Marquee oh, again, good, and took man. over the entire event. Had it seven hundred kids and families at these locations because during of Dance Against Obesity. <laughs> during the day, right? But you and, know what? They're getting confidence. Yeah, listen yeah. to what you're oh, saying. No, they're getting is confidence. A game changer, but at yeah. the end of the day, like yep. again, like I just, I, I, and I guess I, I, I preface this by saying like this works a lot better, or this conversation is a lot better with kids because it's important to share. Like, and we talk about this all the time about impacting the youth. Like, it's important sure. to share that like the things that like we can all have a story like that. The things that made us different when we were little and growing up are yeah. the things that like are, are shining light now. Yeah, and I feel like. And if you haven't figured that out, like take time and think about it, because I guarantee you'll find a connector where it made sense. And so, I agree. with I agree. that mindset, like moving forward, I think that's one of the things I see. One of the questions coming up, like our youth, is one of the biggest things that we're focused on through Live to Give. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good. We we always ask everybody on on our uh, on our show, what's your favorite restaurant in Vegas? Might as well throw a coffee shop Vegas. in there too. Yeah, coffee yeah. shop in there too. If you oh, I can't tell you my favorite coffee shop <laughs> because I love all of them. There's so okay. many good ones. There's so <laughs> many good ones so our favorite restaurant can i just say it because yeah. you know it you ready yeah should we one. say it at the same time yeah. one. That's test, risky. Test, test, test. No, we, oh no he knows so we, our favorite restaurant we love indian food so our okay. favorite um yeah. yes yeah. our favorite um place is the indian market cafe and where's that at it's indian off market. of tropicana right, you know oh, okay, maryland okay. I've been to that it's a bunch of indian Listen restaurants to I've been so to they, that have, they took over a food for less it's like a oh, okay. indian market and a uh, like India, India market like store and an okay. Indian cafe so where they have food there. Okay. The gentleman that owns it used to own a, a little small like I think twenty by thirty spot. It's doing the same thing and he started it twenty five years ago. About a year ago, this restaurant was open. Now he took over the Whole Food for Less. It's an Indian market cafe. It's a bomb. dot com. I'm gonna check it out because I'm really probably food. taking. Yes. I'm not kidding. At least thirty people. <laughs> Say the name one more time. Indian Indian market, market cafe, cafe. Okay. off Tropicana. It's in, in a Maryland. it's in a market. No, we're gonna definitely check it out. So yeah. you check can. Yeah. And then to the to the, the right or to the left. Nepal. 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 Shout out to Nepal. Okay. Go Paul. Cool, Paul. Like we'll okay, we're working, we'll Indian, we'll we're working on our Indian. Our Hindi. We're working on it. We'll definitely check that one out. So they have. Oh, it's incident. amazing. The price is amazing. The food is amazing. Yeah, you can't go wrong. That Honestly, is definitely. Like, it's amazing. And we have people that come that we like because we're like, yeah, we're chatting with everyone, and we we have a uh, we had well yeah we have a trip planned for India in April, and so we were chatting with people like chatting like what do you think of this place? And everyone's like, this is the best place to go. Oh wow, like, this is go. the best place to go. Like. Indian people are telling us like this is the best. Well, especially if it's a market they're buying it's there, bomb. so you know it's, it's, it's the real bomb. deal. It's amazing. So, yeah, they have everything there. A coffee shop. We love coffee. We love coffee. I think that's I would one never of the say that connected, my favorite coffee that shop that connected us. Yeah, her. Her. She. I mean, she does like coffee reviews. She's a beast. Oh, oh is that right? Okay. Yeah. 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 So she's gonna get herself in trouble. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I can. No. I love them all but I love equally. Coffee. No. Coffee's awesome. That's awesome, man. I was going to say the name, but I, I was going to say Samba Latte. Oh, okay. Samba Latte is awesome. Too. Yeah, man. They've grown in Vegas. There's a lot like of different Samba. locations now. They all oh, have. Gabby. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh Gabby. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's yeah. another cool little spot. Yeah. 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 No, they did a great job with that. Yep. Yeah. Their coffee's yeah, amazing. They're more known for their treats because they bake them in house. Yep. But um, coffee's good. Yeah, we've treats been there are good. a few times. And it doesn't even look like that's the one that doesn't have the name on the, on the front door. It's like the secret place. Yeah. I definitely checked that. So. Uh, we know your industry's changing. Um, how, how? I guess I will ask you guys a few, few different um, questions, kind of to, to end it. But um, how are you guys keeping up? You know, and, and um, what's some of your personal goals coming up? Mm. Um, how are we keeping up? I would say, I mean, for just speaking out loud, I would say the biggest things that we do is always just not only research, right, but also like yeah. surround ourselves with people that know, like, have their like, our, like. Literally, people come to us because we have the thumb on the community. We come to other people that have their thumb in tech. They have their come their there thumb in whatever it is, right? They have yeah. there's continu- people that have the pulse on their on their expertise. Sure, that's where we want to make sure that we're attaching ourselves with because, like you say, everything's competitive. Everything's yeah. changing. Yeah. Everything it doesn't stop. And so at the end of the day, it's not about 
it's not about me knowing everything. It's about surrounding myself with people and surrounding ourselves with people that we can lean on for different things and vice versa, right? I mean, at the end of the day, we're all creating a winning circle with winning people. And so with that mindset, we have to help each other grow. And That's welcome great. to our winning group. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like it because yeah, one, one of the things I'll point out is you guys are really starting to get that reputation, which is awesome. Like, oh, it's funny. You, Vegas is small, but it's big at the same yeah, time. Sure. But yes. everybody is starting to know you guys. You know, <laughs> as we were talking off air, is a lot of mm-hmm. people know you, which is which thank is great. You. So, yeah. Yeah, no, you thank you to the, Las Vegas and the community and our clients. Like, literally, we, yeah. we have clients that we worked with since day one, year one, mm-hmm. and so we're blessed to continue to see you work with them. Absolutely. And um, and it's been it's been it's been awesome, man. Yeah. And where do you see it going in the next uh, five years? Yeah, so, I mean, we talk about this all the time. We have different phases within our business. I mean, phase two is definitely going to be more focused on youth. It's going to be more focused on on different, like, innovative marketing tactics and campaigns. Uh, as far as, like, long term down the road, our goal is to build a, a community around this. So, like, investing in real estate and doing different things where it's more or less not just, not just, uh, not just a... a, a a remote working environment, but also a place where we can build community around it. There you and go. so I won't share all the secrets for that, but yeah, we're yeah. definitely <laughs> we're coming strong with that one as well. And also, like to pivot back to my last point, like this is an international vision, and so you know, and go back to like we had a call to that point. You asked who have we worked with, and is it local or national? Sure. You know, I got connected with the organization. I got Facebook message from an organization in Uganda. This wow. was like a year oh, yeah, ago. That's right. And it was one of those serendipity moments for both of us where I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, back to that 2012, right? Yeah. I was like, international figure and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And I remember I got that message. And right around that time, I was meeting with another organization here in downtown or here not too far from here. And they were like, hey, listen, we, I, know, I brought up that client, or I brought up, not even a client, I brought up like that, that person that reached out. And honestly, at this point, we're just coming from a place of service, right? Like, we want to we wanna learn, we want to grow, we want to, like, adapt and everything. So I was like, how can I be of service to you? Like, you know, I know, like, there's no budget, but I'm like, you know, I, it, it's a win-win, right? I, we believe in karma so much. And so at the end of the day, mm-hmm. like, it's not about what's gonna, what's in it for us. It's about what's in it for we. So with that mindset, uh, we I talked to the organization I was talking to. He's like, oh, man, it just so happens. I, ha- I know someone in Uganda. They do these things, with these programs. That's and let me awesome. connect you with them. And they were based in Orlando. Or no, I'm sorry, Portland, Oregon. And from there, I made the conference call with them. And I connected this organization with this organization. And it was one of those things where it was like, it's starting. Yeah. Right? It's starting. Awesome, and so, man. like, we just got to yeah. continue stirring that pot. Well, we, we support what you guys yeah, do. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, oh, we, we really you. support what you guys do. It seems legit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not gimmicky. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not gimmicky. You can feel it in your voice, you know, that you, what you guys are doing. And we, we're going to continue to support it. And if, wherever we can help, you yeah. definitely And vice versa. For Honestly, like, I love yeah. what you guys are doing as far Thank as you. just the two of your, your, the two of your energies. And, I mean, I feel like this is not just a, a, a day one relationship. It's like a day, what's next? We have to yeah. bring you back, man. Yeah, yeah, bring you back. yeah. yeah. and Keep vice versa. Like, if there's anything we can do for you guys in the community, like, we love what you guys are doing. And, awesome. you know, I take a look at your website. The website's legit. Like, you guys are doing Thank it, you. man. So, appreciate uh, it. Give a shout-out to Chris, man. Oh, yeah. I got to do it. <laughs> got to oh, do it. go Chris. <laughs> yeah, Chris, Chris is the man behind that. So, I just yeah. mess up everything. He fixes it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think giving a platform yeah. for yes. others to, yeah. to shine and to have these conversations and to share what people are doing in the community, yeah. that's so cool. Because people out here, like, you guys yeah. making a huge difference and it's, you know, maybe don't get the credit that they need. And that's course. what we hope to be able to provide. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. You and you mentioned you had a dancer and things like that. Yeah. You know, being yeah. connected now to the dance community, yeah. you know, they they're, they they want to be known. You know, yeah, a lot definitely. of them don't feel known just in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, Especially in the funny, U.S. Not even because, to cut you off. They, yeah. B-Boy Ron, he was saying something about, and I saw somebody else, they're trying to go to the Olympics, I guess. Yeah. yeah, to have dance in 2024. 2024? Yeah, yeah, so I saw that. Break dancing. I support. Wow. Are they voting? I'm like, I support. It's, set- uh, it's like a hashtag. I don't know. It's oh, a hashtag. Sure? Yeah. Okay, so I guess uh, I'm not that connected. So. Uh, yeah. He is. So. I saw it. I saw it. So, or something like that. Yeah, yeah so they posting have it. to vote. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like, yeah, support that. That's sick. That would yeah. be That's cool. Sick. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah they would be busy to see all the Oh, yeah, man. Be They've been talking about that. I mean, bless their hearts, man. Or bless, like, that community. Like, talk about a community that's, like, just... I mean, continuously growing, continuously pivoting. Like the yeah. the break dancing freestyle community, like hip hop community, dance community. It's just, yeah. it's beautiful thing to see, man. I yeah. shout out to like Mr. Wiggles, all these people like Pop and Pete that I grew up with and was inspired. I used to train at Mr. Wiggles' house, like growing up as a kid. Like look him up, YouTube him. He's an international star in dancing, and like. I remember they would continuously talk about like the dancing in the Olympics and like it should be in the Olympics and these all these so, things. Sounds like it's gonna happen. Oh, Hopefully. it is. Yeah. Sounds like it's and gonna if happen. If not twenty twenty four, like it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen eventually. And so yeah. it's just a matter of time until 
the world catches up to what the scene is doing, and that's a lot of things just in different. In different. Well, we're gonna speak it. We're gonna speak mm, it. Yeah, we're there gonna it speak is. It. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna speak it. Yeah, you heard it here first. So, man, we appreciate you guys spending time with us. Honestly, uh, yeah. No, so thank you guys. Find you guys at. Okay. Yeah. So we're on social media. Okay. So at Live to Give Group. Okay. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then our website is www.livetogivegroup.com. Perfect. And our emails, you can DM us, or you know, we're pretty easy to access. So, awesome. yeah, and vice versa. Like, if I may, uh, if you if you see yourself, if you hear, the, you hear the sound of our voice, and you want to be involved or get involved, whether it's in your community, locally, or if you want to get involved with the business that wants to serve, like, please reach out to us. There's plenty of opportunities of uh, of just again sharing your passion or your skills with other people that want to get involved and do good things. And so, again, my name is Angel Leticia. Thank you guys so much for having oh, us. Oh, thank you. We greatly yeah. appreciate thank the you. Yeah, this that you guys have built yep. and allowing us to just share our passion and our voice with you. Yeah, we'll, your be, we'll be reposting you guys on all of our stuff. So at thevegascircle.com and all of our social media. So awesome. definitely, Woo. we'll, we'll be supporting you guys. <laughs> so thank excited you so for much. your future. Thank you, thank you, Pocky and Chris. Thank you guys so much. Thank for you, Leticia and Angel. Appreciate it.